Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with some pictures from Walmart. These were just taken today. I had to go in and pick up a few things and um, while I was walking around I just snapped a few pictures as I walked by. I just happened to notice, um, I think when I was in there one time before a lot of the pads were gone. This time a lot of the tampons were gone. It was kind of interesting. Um, you do see that they have some, they have a bit of a selection, but a lot of the, uh, the tampons were gone. Actually, the pads were fine. I think the panty liners were wiped out last time. Uh, and they were fine. That, that, that shelf looked okay. And then, um, I had to go get some toothpaste. So I went down and noticed that this time, now this was the liquid hand soap. They did have some. You can see here they have some of the uh, more expensive kinds, the Myers liquid hand soap that was in stock. The less expensive ones were were gone, but um, at least they had some. And down near the bottom, you can see they have those uh, larger containers, the, like the refills. So they did have some of those. Oh, and these signs were everywhere in the store, these little laminated signs. Um, that say, you know, please limit your purchase to one, one item. Just take one of whatever. They had that with the toilet paper and the paper towels and stuff. Oh, and here's just another, a little wider shot. You can see more of the refills down there on the, the lower right hand uh, section there. The big refill bottles. There's a giant one of soft soap. Two shelves up from the bottom. That thing's massive. It's almost like a gallon. But yeah, still hard to find liquid soap, but not impossible, as you can see. And now this was over in the um, the baby wipes section. This is where you get, um, you can see some baby powder down there, uh, petroleum jelly, stuff like that. Um, a lot of the baby wipes were gone, although they did have some. I think last time they were totally wiped out. But this time they did have some, there are a few uh, packs of baby wipes that you can see over there on the left hand side of the shelves. Now this was the um, hydrogen peroxide and rubbing alcohol. It was totally gone. I think these shelves have been empty pretty much every time I've gone in there for about a month now. Um, I don't think I've seen any in there in a while or if I did it was just like one or two bottles of it and that was it. Oh, this was really interesting. Well, it was interesting to me anyway. When he, when I went by the Easter section, I could not believe how much was left. I mean, it doesn't even look like Easter has happened yet. Like, normally it looks like this a couple of weeks before Easter. This is, after, this is um, let's see, a week after Easter. This is how much they had left a week after Easter was over. And you can see they have the little signs taped up there that it's 50% off. I did actually buy one of those um, cellophane wrapped uh, Easter baskets. I'm going to make a video with it later. It's really cool. It has all kinds of stuff in it. All kinds of candy and stuff in a little wooden crate. But this is one picture. I'm going to show you some more. Here's another one. You can see there's a nice little stash of peeps sitting there. Yes, I did buy some. They had chocolate pudding flavored peeps, which I had never seen before. And I tried a bite of one. I didn't eat the whole thing, but I tried a bite. And it actually tastes like chocolate pudding. My son ate the rest of them. But it really tasted like chocolate pudding. It was crazy. But you can see here they have the yellow ones, which those are the best peeps. Uh, they all taste different. They have the pink, yellow, blue, green, uh, purple. They have all these different colors. And they have the birthday, the party cake peeps. I think I tried those. I don't think I like those very much. The peep, the yellow ones are the best though. They taste really, they're really nice. So what I do is I buy these packs of peeps and I take them home and um, I leave them in the cabinet. I like, I let them age. It's like my wine cellar, but it's my peep stash and they age like fine wine in the cabinet. And there is nothing better than stale peeps. So you're either agreeing with me or you're sitting there going, man, that's gross, but they're really good. It's just marshmallows covered in sugar. They don't go bad. I haven't died from eating them yet. Now look at this. Here's more. This is a whole other aisle. Now it has plastic eggs on it. Don't yell at me. I'm sorry. I, people get really upset about me showing 
these plastic eggs. I'm sorry, but you know what? They're going to sell them whether I show them or not. This year, they didn't sell many. Look at all this stuff that's left over. I have never, in all of my years on this earth, I have never seen this much stuff left over after Christmas, after Easter. But it's because, you know, nobody's going anywhere, doing anything. Everybody was at home. A lot of the churches around here do a really big thing at Easter. They'll have like a big Easter egg hunt and they'll have candy. They'll, it's just like a party and it's open to everybody. And a lot, you know, so the churches didn't do that this year. And a lot of this stuff is bought by the churches and um, people doing little get-togethers at their own home. And this year, most people didn't do that. So you have all this stuff left over. And then here is a picture of some more stuff. You can see the giant plastic Easter eggs down there full of other little Easter eggs. It's just like plastic inception, and I'm sorry about that. Let's just go on to the next picture. Now, oh, okay, down there you can see all, look at all the Easter baskets that are left down there. There's a little tie-dyed llama sitting on the right-hand side, up, you know, sort of in the lower right-hand corner of the picture. You see that little llama laying there? They had a lot of stuffed animals left over. Uh, I didn't buy any, but yeah, all I bought were some peeps. And that, that was it. Okay, so I, I got on past the Easter stuff. And I headed back to get some cat food. And a lot of the cat litter is gone. And that has been a common thing. The cat litter has been, it was wiped out a couple of times. I don't know what people are doing with all the cat litter. If anybody has any notions about that, just leave a comment. I don't know why people would be stockpiling cat litter. Um, maybe they ran out of toilet paper. I'm not going to speculate, but I mean, it might be an alternative if you don't, never mind. Um, but yeah, a lot of the cat litter was gone. You see that bottom shelf down there? It's normally full. Um, yeah. And now here was something that actually made me feel a little bit better. This was the first time I have seen toilet paper in Walmart in about a month. Look at that. And there's actually several different types. And I posted something on the Neighborhood app about it because a lot of people have been begging, you know, if you see any toilet paper, please post something on the neighbor on the next door app about it. I keep trying to call it the Neighborhood app. I don't know why the next door app. So I posted something on there. And I'm telling you, it wasn't. It was later on in the evening. Somebody replied and said, well, all the toilet paper's gone. So all that toilet paper got gone very quickly, apparently. It, it sold out. But when I was in there, they had some. So I didn't need any, but it was kind of nice to see it. And then you come over here. A lot of the paper plates were gone. I guess people are just tired of washing dishes. I mean, I can relate. I feel like I've cooked about 5,000 meals in the last two weeks. It's just, I'm so tired of having, I don't know. I'm, and the funny thing is, I'm not doing more than normal, so I don't even know why I feel that way. Um, but a lot of the paper plates are gone. I guess people are just sick and tired of washing dishes or something. Now, this is the back side of the toilet paper. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but now back here, normally that whole, all those wire shelves would be full of paper towels. All the way down, it would be nothing but paper towels. I noticed that they have been out of paper towels for so long. They have started putting coolers down there. If you look on down those, those uh, shelves, look, they have coolers on the shelves. I guess to just fill up some space. Because this time of year, whenever Walmart needs to fill space, they either put out totes or coolers just to make it look less empty. And on the right over here, you can see they've put out some solo cups or hefty cups or whatever they are, not plastic cups. They've just given up even pretending that they're going to have any paper towels. Like you can see the stickers on the shelves where the paper towels go, the little labels. They don't even care. Like we don't have any. We're not going to get any. We're not going to pretend anymore. Here, buy some coolers and some cups. It'll be okay. Just we got beer. Go get you some beer and throw it in a cooler and Go get drunk and forget about the paper towel. Okay. Now this is on the same aisle as the paper towels. This is the liquid, uh, the dishwashing liquid. And I think people must be buying this to use instead of liquid hand soap. 
I am hoping that Greensboro has the cleanest hands in the whole world, all the liquid soap they have bought. I notice they don't want the Ajax. Even, even in times of desperation, nobody will buy Ajax. Ajax is terrible. I don't buy it either. I get um, the Walmart version of the pomegranate flavored um, Dawn dishwashing liquid. It's wonderful. It doesn't dry your skin out and it smells nice. And the Walmart version is it's just the same. I can't tell a difference, but it's a lot cheaper. But they're even out of that, so I'm glad I didn't need any. They didn't have any. And I went over to get some frozen food, and I noticed that a lot of the convenience-type frozen foods were missing, or, you know, low anyway. A lot of the um, fries and tater tots and things like that, a lot of those were either not there or they were running low. Same, well, this actually wasn't terrible. You can't really see it, but a lot of the beef is gone. There's some. I mean, there is some. You can get ground chuck and some of the more expensive steaks down there on the left, but a lot of empty shelves in the beef section. And then you go over to the bleach, and the bleach has been pretty wiped out for a long time. They do have some, though. They, you can see that top shelf. They have some, and go down a couple shelves, there's a little more. So they're not totally out, but again, they have that little sign up asking you to please only buy one, but I don't think they're enforcing that. I could be wrong, I don't know, but I'm just wondering if you tried to buy more than one, if they would stop you. I know at Aldi, the cashier told me they have the, the registers are set up to where they can only ring up one of certain items per order, like toilet paper or whatever, paper products. Yeah, they won't even, they're not even allowed to ring up more than one per order, so you can't, you'd have to come through, I guess, multiple times. And then over here we have the dairy section. I noticed a lot of the yogurt was gone. I, I used to eat yogurt every day, and then one day I just got sick of it and I couldn't stand it anymore, and I haven't eaten yogurt in probably a, a year or two. I don't know, I, I used to eat it all the time, and then I just got tired of it and I quit eating it. And I, I, I don't even want it anymore. I don't know why. I get that way sometimes. I just quit eating it. Um, yeah, I mean, it looked like a lot of the yogurt was gone. That was kind of weird. I, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. And the biscuits were gone. Now, in America, we don't mean cookies. We, we mean, you know, biscuit. It's kind of like a scone, but it's not sweet. Well, you can buy canned biscuits. It's this dough in a little paper can thing that you whop on the counter and it pops open. You take the dough out and you bake it. A lot of the biscuits were gone. A lot of bagels were gone. Cream cheese. They did have some blueberry bagels and onion bagels up there. And they do have some cream cheese. But a lot of the, um, looks like the croissant dough is gone. The biscuit dough. A lot of it's gone. Um, oh, and then we have the wall of Gatorade. Look at all that Gatorade. Can you believe that? That's all Gatorade. I noticed that the bottom shelf was pretty pretty wiped out. That's where they have the great big containers of Gatorade and some of the eight packs of Gatorade down there. There's some over here on this right-hand corner down at the bottom. You can see the big things of Gatorade, but most of them are gone. But you can still get some. I mean, there's still Gatorade plenty to be had there, and even up on the very top, that's overflow. That's for extra stock that they don't have room for. That way up their shelf. Yeah. And then at the at the uh, other part of the store I went through, you know, all the gyms here are closed, and I am very sad about that. I am really looking for, I really miss going to the gym. I'm looking forward to going. I haven't been to the gym since they closed. I actually quit going about a week before they closed. I just felt like it wasn't safe. Um, but you notice a lot of the home uh, fitness stuff is gone. All the little barbells and dumbbells. Uh, and that's what all this is. This is all just fitness stuff. A lot of the fitness stuff has been wiped out. All the barbells are gone. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. And this is a little bit more of the home fitness stuff. You can still get a sauna suit, though. There's a lady at my gym that wears a sauna suit. And it's an, it's an authentic sauna suit from the 80s. And she loves wearing it. It looks like she's walking around the gym in a trash bag, but it's 
She told me all about it one day in the locker room. It's totally unsolicited. People just come up and talk to me. I don't know why. She talked to me at great length about her sauna suit and how it had just changed her life. And she found it in a closet and decided to start it wearing it. And I don't know. I, you know what? I, I'd listen to her again just to get to go back to the gym. I miss going. Okay, and then the last thing I was not able to get a picture of... So all I could do was make a little slide for you. All the fake nails were gone. I mean, all of them, except there was one little pig on the wall that had these ugly neon orange traffic cone looking nails. It was totally full. It was hilarious. They had a bunch of those. Every single, I've never seen anything like it. Every single pack of fake nails was gone. Every one. And about all the nail polish was gone, too. And I couldn't get a picture because there were these four women over there. I don't think they were together because they had their carts. They were standing in front of the fake nails, just standing there with their mouths hanging open like they were just in a trance, staring at it, mumbling to themselves. And they were, they were just talking. They weren't talking to one another. They were talking to themselves, going, I can't believe this. What am I going to do? They're all gone. They were just in shock, and they wouldn't move. And I started feeling like a stalker. You know, I'm social distancing. I'm standing back, but it's like, y'all need to go on. I mean, they're not here. You're not going to get to buy any unless you want some of the orange ones, the neon bright orange nails. Well, they never moved, so I just gave up. But they were all gone. Um, I guess, you know, because all the nail salons are closed, so people are just doing whatever they can to... I don't know, make their nails look presentable, I guess, but it was hilarious. It kind of reminded me, you know, when you go into the kitchen and you stare in the refrigerator and there's nothing there, and you just stand there, you just keep staring in there, and then you come back 10 minutes later and you do it again. That's kind of what they were doing, but with fake nails. It was really, it was really bizarre. I felt bad for them, but it wasn't a thing I could do. So, um, anyway, that was the last thing I wanted to show you today from our friendly neighborhood Walmart. I hope that wherever you are, you're doing okay, and I will see you again really soon.